<laughs> Howdy folks, it's Thursday. We do new tools on Mondays. This is Thursday, but uh, Thursday should be called Potpourri, Potpourri Day. <laughs> yeah. I've been uh, looking at my charging station and we're going to take a look at that in a second here. But what I wanted to talk about was uh, trying to get, get some of it you know, off the grid and like charge these things up for free using what else? Solar power. <laughs> yeah, this is my charging station and it's one of the things I focused in on as I was thinking, if I took on some solar, just a little bit of solar power and had it, uh, I could get things off the house, off, you know, start removing things from my electric bill kind of thing. Uh, this charging station, I got five chargers sitting here, sometimes idling, which takes very little current or, or wattage. We'll talk in watts, but it takes very little. The thing is, it's running 24-7. It's running all the time. Of course, when you put the batteries in and you're charging the batteries, you're really sucking some power. So ideally, this is kind of a nice thing for a solar package to be dealing with because uh, when you put these batteries in, they run for uh, X number of hours, they charge up and it's over with. And of course the power drop at that point drops way back down. So it probably um, could do the job and it wouldn't get the solar package in trouble or something over time. The uh, solar could you know, easily help to keep maintaining all of this system running all the time. And it, if it gets off my electric bill, I'm like, you know what, I like it already. Uh, what I wanna look at is I'll show you what we're working on been doing this for weeks actually but uh go out and have a quick look at the power the uh, solar situation the setup where i'm at with it it's pretty rough just yet but i figure we'll, we'll get into it now because uh it's starting to evolve into something right. so we're outside and on the top of the uh, carport you see i've put i've mounted my first two panels each panel is 130 watts giving me a total of 260 watts of power at this point yes i plan on adding more panels but right now that's what i've got so i put that up Okay, so now we're inside what I call the barn, or inside the enclosed part of the carport, and I just put this board up with some just some scrap aluminum. The uh, whole deal here is the controller. This is a cheap, inexpensive controller. I probably will have to replace it before all of this is over with, but uh, it's just something that I, I picked up along the way. Also, a very cheap uh, inverter. This inverter, matter of fact, is uh, a disaster. Uh, I will say this right now, I'll tell you right now, it came from eBay and it is not what it's supposed to be. So yeah, typical, you know, eBay stuff. Eh. Anyways, uh, what we're doing right now is I've got the lines from the solar package up above coming in and we're running at 12 volt. We'll, I might want to run at 24 volt in the near future. 24 volt will have some advantages like less current, which is good, less heat. There's no real problem at this point because we're very close. The panels are right above me here. So they're really close by. So we really don't have to have high voltage to get away from a power loss or a drain or something like that. But what's happening is uh, I have no batteries here now. I had a battery here just temporarily a couple times now for testing. And just to keep the wires away from each other, we just sort of separate everything up for the time being. This gauge wire here is way too light for the job anyway. So this is just, again, temporary just to see you know how things are working out and that's where we're at uh, the other thing that will happen is this will have to go over here at some point there'll be a much larger inverter over here and some batteries we'll talk about the four components to a, a solar system anyways so we'll take a look while we're back in the garage i'm going to try to keep this reasonably simple <laughs> and so there's four modules or four components that make up a complete solar package that's going to in this case uh, give us power to do what we want and that's going to be the panels are obviously you know one thing uh, you're going to need a controller which is another piece to this package uh, then you're going to need storage which is going to be your batteries now the batteries could be agm they could be gel they could be lithium phosphate lithium ion it, it gets kind of you know the terminology could drive you a little crazy but it's to a lot of people out there will tell you it's pretty simple it's it's pretty obvious as to what goes on but uh, personally i wanted to use uh lithium phosphate batteries they're reasonably well they're priced a little high but uh, they will give 100 amp hour uh, service which is ideal for you know the conditions we're dealing with and then of course the inverter the inverter is going to create the ac power that ultimately that's what we're looking for in a system now there is a couple of other uh, components here that are kind of cool uh, a good convert uh, inverter like this will also have usb so you can plug usb stuff in and charge other things 
there's problems. The inverter, even when it's not, uh, when it's just idling and there's no load on it, it still draws a little bit of power from the batteries. And that's fine during the daytime, but at nighttime, you gotta think, okay, there's nothing coming in from the uh, you know, panels. So the only thing you've got running is the batteries, keeping that inverter going, yeah. And during the daytime, fine, everything is, you know, doing a good job. Now, also you need to balance the system. So you need a certain amount of wattage coming out of here. You need a controller that can deal with that amount of wattage. This particular one I showed you uh, in my shop right now is rated at only 390 watts, yeah. So if I had like 10 of these panels up or something, this controller would not be able to deal with it unless I changed the um, voltage, the way I changed the wiring to series and, and raise the voltage. But again, that controller only handles, I think 24 volt is the max. It can't handle 48 or whatever. So again, you need a better controller than, than that, obviously to go for more than a couple panels. I think I can get uh, three panels all together here, and then that, that controller would have to be changed out. And I'm definitely gonna be looking for a much better controller for the future anyways for this. Uh, Battery-wise, I'm looking at a couple of phosphate batteries, like 200 amp hour, something like that, service, to keep everything happy and keep it running. Because what I'm doing is building a very small you know, system that will help to carry some of the tools that are in the shop. Also, I'd like to be able to run an extension cord back there in the barn sometimes, plug into like the inverter and run my power tools off of the inverter, and again, instead of using the household current. Ideally, I'm trying to nickel and dime my way uh, down a lower electric bill overall, but this is a start. This is a place to you know start. All right, so there'll be a test on Friday, <laughs> but uh, what I was looking at was building a small solar package and even bringing it up to the point where it's good for like 3,000 or even 4,000 watts or something eventually, so that we have, instead of a standby generator that burns gas, we have a standby solar system that offers power for the house. In case of uh, power failures, it seems like uh, that's the sort of doom and gloom we keep hearing in the news these days. And the first thing I wanted to save on was, of course, was my, uh, my shop. Because I have a lot of tools that are on chargers. I have a lot of batteries that are on uh, chargers for my cameras and for some of my other tools, plus the charging station that I just sh I showed you earlier. That's all running all the time. And when I start adding the watts up, and again, like I said, watts is kind of important because you talk about kilowatts. Uh, that's a thousand watt, you know, thousand kilowatt hour is only what, 14, 15 cents or something. But when you add it up when with what you've got plugged in, and you say, wait a minute, this is running, you know, 24 hours a day. It's running seven days a week. It's running the whole month, running all this stuff. It adds up, even it's idling. And then if you're charging the batteries, you're adding a lot more on top of that, of course. The batteries are, when they're charging, of course, it's really sucking some serious power and can total up. Thank God the batteries charge up rather rapidly. So, you know, usually less than an hour or something, a battery will be full and, you know, we're, we're done. But the whole thing is the whole picture totaled up over 30 days. There's quite a bit of power that we're using. And to get away from that, I was thinking, well, a power, a solar system could, you know, easily pick that up. So that's why uh, with tools and with uh, the power tools that I have around here, a lot of it could be run off a solar system uh, week to week, month to month. And that would save me that little bit of money uh, off my bill. And I, any savings at all right now, I'll take it, you know. Uh, boy, hey, uh, we've got a uh, we got a contest, a giveaway today, so we got to go find some tickets and pull something out of the coffee can. <laughs> so uh, let's swing into that, okay? All right, yeah. We'll talk more about the solar as we get uh, as we progress down the road. I'll share you share with you the experience and what's going on with it. Yeah, so comment in the uh, section below if you have solar or if you're thinking about getting solar or you're just interested. If you're interested in solar, I'd like to hear from you because uh, we could put some time in on solar, uh, helping to power you know, the tools. The only tools, there's two tools in here I don't think I would power. One is the welder, the other one will be the compressor. We'll need a big solar array to run that stuff. <laughs> okay, we got tickets. What are we giving away? This week from Tula, and they told me, one of the viewers said they were sold out, I don't know. Uh, I checked, it looked like you could order them, but I don't know if they were sold out is a wood countersink bit set with countersinks and also the countersinks with the drill bits in them, quarter, three eighths, half inch. Nice little kit, really nice little kit. Glad they sent these over to me. 
Uh, not very expensive. I'll provide a link in the description below where you can order these from. Uh, I just don't know if they'll be back ordered or something, or uh, you know, you might be waiting weeks before you get a set like this, but it's a really, really nice little set. And that's what we're giving away right here, the Tulin, yes. And let's see, we got some tickets in the coffee can. We even put the lid on and yeah, we're no reliant to, no, we, we don't even drink Maxwell House in this, uh, in this household. I actually used to buy the coffee just so I could have the can, so. I drank it in about a week. Yeah, it'd be all gone, you know. Use twice as much as they call for. <laughs> that way you can use the can fast, you know. So, we'll get, we'll get those up. And next week we have a, uh, wow. Yeah. This is, uh, next week's prize is gonna be like, yeah, a little shocking, but here we go. Anyways, let's see who's getting this lovely set. I hope he's at least a woodworker. Oh, we get a big fatty ticket here. Jim in Glasgow, Montana. Jim, you just, oh, okay. Jim. God. It's getting kind of personal here, Jim. All right, okay, yeah. Jim in Glasgow, Montana, congratulations. How the heck did that, ah, uh, whatever. Lucky you. <laughs> yeah. Jim, I guess what, buddy? If I ever get up to Montana, you owe me a dinner or pizza or something, because I'm gonna mail this. I'm gonna mail this to you, Jim. Enjoy. And thank you for everybody for entering, of course, including Jim. Jeez, Jim, <laughs> wow. Did not even expect to see that one. I think it was just a week or two ago he got something out of here. What do we got for next week? Well, we got something next week that's, uh, wow. Yeah, you talk about sold out or not available yet. Yeah, that's what we're talking. We're talking a tool that just came in for review that we've looked at. It's an awesome tool, I really love it. And it's from Depths Tech and it is a, let's get this thing over here for a minute, wow. Okay, from Depths Tech, this is, this was a uh, this is a rollout product that uh, I haven't even seen it available yet, but it's a totally rechargeable rotary tool, and it's a nice one from Depths Tech. It will be well priced whenever it becomes available, and it has the uh, you know five speeds, which I kind of screwed up on last time when I looked at it because I I added one. Okay, we'll go down. Hip, 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 hip. All right, there we go. Five thousand RPM. The next one is fifteen. 20, 25, 30,000 RPM. Yeah, there you go. And it's got a just some nice stuff with it for features. Charges on a USB. Kind of like that charging on the USB thing these days. It's really become kind of a, it's, well, I hate to say it, but it's it's like it's like modern when it does that. Now I can't get it back in the box. Oh. Anyways, the, And I gotta thank Depths Tech. They're a real nice bunch over there. They are fabulous. And they sent this over to us right away when it was rolling out. And I was kind of shocked because it was like, okay, this thing's not even on the market yet. But we already have one. <laughs> and guess what? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do what I always do. I'm gonna give it away to a viewer. So any lucky viewer out there, you might be the guy that has the new rollout tool that's not available yet <laughs> from Depths Tech. <laughs> Fantastic. So how do we get in on this? Okay, same old, same old. Uh, you're gonna send an email to ctrewards at gmx.com. In the subject line of your email, let's just write, uh, let's write rotary. That's a fairly big word, but yeah, let's just do rotary. One entry per household, and in the body of the email, just your name and address, like you're doing a postal return uh, item, and that way we can draw tickets out of the uh, coffee can. And we'll be drawing for this here. We don't even have a price on it because it's just that new. It was rolled out by Depths Tech. I have yet to even see it available on their website or on the market yet. Last time I checked the website, this wasn't even listed yet. Yeah, I was under Rotary Tools. So yeah, it's, this is that brand new. So you're gonna be getting something that's really the first one. <laughs> yeah. You'll only get it from here, from Coffee and Tools. In the meantime, I gotta thank everybody for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell so you don't miss on giveaways like this. And we'll try to continue to give stuff away as, as stuff comes in for reviews. I just think, and Jim in Montana, Wow, that's that's, that's a little bit mind-blowing, Jim, but okay, you, 
If you win this, Jim, okay, I'm coming up there. You're buying dinner, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> let's let's get out of here. Okay, over and out.